What's good, Cam Folk? It's your boy Dom back again in the garage. As you see, I got an empty seat here. I might have a special guest. Y'all stay tuned. Roll the intro. Can folk back at it again. I got my wifey back here. She's normally behind the camera, but right now today she's in front of the camera. So ah, there we Cheers go. To that. <laughs> I'm in the building, well, y'all. I'm glad to have you here with me today. <laughs> Thank you, babe. And I think it'll be surprising to learn that my wife is also into cigars as well. Not as deep as me, Not but as deep, but I can hang. <laughs> she can hang. She can hang, right? So I guess we're gonna dive into that today really don't have a base of what we're going to talk about we're just kind of going to go with the flow and then we'll just talk about what the cigars we're smoking and maybe how it you know uh the cigar culture in regards to women and the stigmas and that type of stuff right and uh we'll just enjoy our time together and, and having you guys represent on. for the ladies today, there we go to my best ability there we go all right i think you said it best <laughs> <laughs> cheers to that. all right cheers to that heck yeah let's go So, what do you have today that you are smoking on? Well, today I am smoking Leather Rose. I'm sure you will see this in the clip, the little closer picture, but this one's one of my favorites. Um, I enjoy the flavor for me, so I'm not as advanced where I can just smoke the big boys, the big guns. I'm still in the sweet, but not too sweet. So I enjoy, you know, kind of in between the dark and the medium you color, you yeah. know what I mean? So, yeah. but I'm learning, I'm getting there. Yeah, the Leather Rose by uh, Deadwood Tobacco comes at a medium to medium full range. Uh, it, it, is, it is a Nicaraguan. I can't tell you if it's a Nicaraguan Puro or not. I mean, what Puro means is you have a cigar that has the same wrapper, filler, and binder that make up the cigar, it all comes from one designated area or country, right? So the Crux Epicure Habano that I'm smoking today has a Nicaraguan wrapper, Nicaraguan filler, and then the binder that holds the filler together is also Nicaraguan, so it's a Nicaraguan Puro. Hers, on the other hand, is from Nicaragua, but we don't know what the wrapper and the filler. They're not sharing the that information, so. Yeah, it's all a secret. It's a so. little secret. So <laughs> maybe I like the secret. I don't know. Hey, that yeah, is. So. Hey, but we got at least we got the common places uh <laughs> Dick and Rock, so hey, we still win. That's how we win. We match. <laughs> we coordinated. Yeah. So let's uh, go ahead and light these up or get them cut up and I lit up. And, up mine. Oh yeah. Yes. So if you notice the difference today, I'm going with the straight cut. I'm gonna be using my straight cutter or guillotine cutter today to cut this. And you're going with. And I'm I'm going with the what is this? V cut. The v cut. I like the V cut for some reason. Well, I mean for that cigar too, uh, it being in the pyramid shape, pyramid how it, it tapers off at the end there. That V cut will allow her to get deep into that cigar and cut a V shape into that cigar, uh, thus allowing her to be able to smoke that without messing up the wrapper uh, too much on the end of there. And I'm getting that helps me as an untrained. So our smoker to focus on the middle and keeping it hot in the middle and the rest it'll smoke real slow and I should be able to keep my ash and there you go. Like I said, I can hang. She got a little bit of knowledge. She got a little bit. I, I, I know some things. <laughs> you can hang around me a little too much. That's all I know good. Thing. Yeah. Uh shoot on let this light up. What are you getting on that cold draw? Let it blow. I taste the sweet immediately but my lips just touched it so <laughs> um <laughs> i don't know yet but give me a minute okay do your thing i won't even bother you right now i'm gonna like it i'm gonna let you one. get to it yeah <laughs> i'm toasting yep gotta I, toast it i'm up. not roasting it i'm toasting right 
And we're toasting it because we don't want to, you know, get any off flavors by sticking the lighter deep up into the cigar and charring it. There you go. I know I got a little tobacco coming off of there too. <laughs> so I'm talking about habits, man. You know, if you get short filler or long filler well, in your, my in your lip gloss. Yeah, so your I'm lip gloss pulled all that off. <laughs> my get, lip gloss was still popping, <laughs> but it just took a whole layer there off. There you go. So you couldn't even blame that one on a cigar. I couldn't. I'm just being honest. I needed yeah. my lip gloss. Them, so. lips, them lips is lipping. Hey, but they <laughs> taste like leather rolls, so. There you go. I like it. Man, so a lot of people out there are probably like, what? Especially probably some females, right? Because you typically don't, when you think of cigars and cigar world, you normally don't picture a female in there, right? Oh, they are there. Yes, that's why I say. They are alive. But, it is a tribe. Yes. It is real. So I've learned just, you know, learning through him and seeing the culture, like, it's multifaceted. Like, mm -hmm. it is literally just something that can join opposites or whatever together, you know? Right. Yeah, the, yeah I just like to, like, draw the point where, like, it, it, the, every cigar that we're smoking, even here today, I can guarantee it, a woman has touched this cigar. Oh, for sure. Oh, well, we've seen the, how they make cigars. and I, Oh, yeah. Some yeah, of the right, best. Yeah. Rollers are women, of course, because sure. we pay attention to detail. Duh. Yeah, they just good with their hands, you know. What I'm Duh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we down there in Tampa, That's Florida, and saying. yeah, we saw them all in there, and they were just rolling them up. And there's no, there's no way that I could do what they do and make one of these smokable, right? I know. I, I think I could do it. You think so? Oh, for sure. Oh, we're gonna have to buy some spackle leaves and get that a try. Yeah, I'm for, for sure. sure. Like, yeah. <laughs> I like geometry, so yeah, I like shapes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that works. You know what I'm <laughs> Who's so. with me? <laughs> All the shape lovers, give me a holler. <laughs> We're taking it back to first grade on this. I like triangles. <laughs> I like hexagons. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> So yeah, this is this is look. This is normally us in our in our zone. Uh, we're in the garage and just chilling. You know, this is what we do. You know, and I gotta take my lip gloss off. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how we roll. It is not popping. That's all it good. is sticky. It's all good. I'll but the cigar is bussing. Did I get it right? Yeah, there you go. Bussing. I've been learning the new lingo. Mm -hmm. It's bussing. They're having we got them, them teens. I feel like just yesterday we was and teenagers. Grown ups. Though. I feel like yesterday. Look, look, look. I feel yes. like we graduated yesterday. Man. But okay. my body don't feel like it. Nah, though. that's what I'm about to say. Like, <laughs> I can think it, but yeah. I don't know if I feel body, it. <laughs> body don't feel like it, though. My elbows hurt. My toenails hurt. It told me the weather. I predicted <laughs> right. the weather before Everything it hurt. came. <laughs> How did I become my parents? <laughs> so, you've been on a scene with me for quite some time now. Of course, in the cigar world. I've taken you to cigar lounges. You travel with me to different places, and I've always had a cigar or whatever else. But what, how do you feel about the cigar culture? What What does it mean to you? How does it make you feel? I think it's very inclusive in the sense of this is really the ties that bind everybody. So I enjoy just meeting new, meet new people that are just authentically them or I don't know if they are or not but when I meet them I enjoy that time and go you know move on so I I like that part that that this is enough yeah you know you don't have to fit in my box or anybody else's box but if we all got something to talk about and share and laugh yeah. and grow and learn yeah, I don't. Amazing. I don't feel like it's a, a rich man's thing or a poor mm -hmm. man's thing, 
or or guy or female thing. I, th I really think, like I said, with Kendrick Leaf, it's it's you know wrapped in, in family and and keeping keeping it all under one umbrella. You know, having everybody inclusive in it, right? Um, because when you go to the cigar lounge, you know, it, it amazes me how many people open up um, uh, to me, to us, and mm -hmm. people that you think you would normally never talk to would be the yeah. first one to actually open their mouth and say something, which I really like in the cigar culture. And, it, it, and it's really brings us together uh, in that moment. I don't know what happens after that once we leave, but I know when we're in the same moment. building. Yeah, that experience in that moment yeah. was pleasant for what I needed. You know, especially just not being around family and things like that. So you find new ways to replace what you need sometimes. Yeah. And this is the holiday season. For so sure. it's like, you know, nobody yeah. knows how to drive on the highway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'd be that kind of stuff. But anyway. Yeah. But diving into the, 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 the sex part of it, not like nasty sex. I'm lying, like, I know somebody's gonna go there. And I don't know, maybe I, maybe I didn't say that right. The, I'm trying to think maybe of the, the exact definition of I'm nasty trying, versus yeah, good. Nasty sex. <laughs> what Ooh, the I don't know. Man. <laughs> yeah, I know it did. That's another. That's a topic for okay. another another oh, day. Okay. But what I mean is, okay, okay. in regards to male and female, you know, cigar smokers. Yeah. That's that stigma again, where it's like it shouldn't be. A female thing and and some people shun up you know and, and thumb their nose at that type of thing but well, I, I don't think women should but yeah but I, I think it's cool i think it, i think it's sexy honestly it works like, you know what i'm saying i, I yeah. think it works if that's what make help you relax <laughs> listen that should have no gender if we all work hard relax hard there you go that ain't really how the saying goes, but you feel what I'm saying. You feel me? <laughs> right. They might, they might not. <laughs> but it's all good, y'all. We down here together, and we having a cigar, enjoying it with y'all, and, and that's what we, that's what we love to do. You know, we probably need to have a series um, with the Kendrick Leaf and just talk about like adult stuff and whatever else, and you know, just for the grown and sexy. I know y'all don't want to hear me ramble on about cigars and how they taste all the damn time. But look, I can talk about that all day long, so whatever. Yes. <laughs> That's all me. <laughs> so, babe, mm -hmm. how do you... Mm, I taste that different. How do you really go about just understanding how the, the flavors taste? Um, describing them, is there a limit to describing the taste? Or is there kind of this generic box that this should taste like this this should taste like this this should taste like that yeah so i guess what i like to tell anybody who, who you know asks that question to you, it's remember taste is very subjective so just because they say on a website that a cigar will taste like this and you pull these kind of flavors doesn't necessarily mean that's what you're going to taste if you haven't developed a palate for a tobacco whiskey or even food, you know, it's hard to describe what you're tasting, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So it's easier to do with food, right? We know a green bean tastes like a green bean and a piece of beef tastes like a piece of beef. But when you have tobacco, your initial thought of taste would be, I taste tobacco or something burning, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but with me, the more cigars you smoke, the easier it is to be able to tell what a cigar tastes like and what i do is i re i try to remember what the taste reminds me of okay. so if i take a, a a a puff of this uh the crux epicure right now um i get a nice hint of dill it tastes like dill oh, like wow. like the the herb mm -hmm. or even like a, a pickling like a pickling yeah, yeah a pickling yeah. um yeah. wow yeah it's a dill and then there's the leather um, nuance that you typically find in cigars, and then you're gonna have the tobacco. Tobacco is always gonna be there because you're smoking tobacco, right, right, but right. you have to look past that. And okay. And what here's another thing I try to do is um, once I get this the the cigar uh, puffing, once I hold I hold it in my mouth, right? So I puff on a cigar, I hold it in my mouth for a minute, 
and I just kind of wished around. It's almost like you had whiskey in your mouth and you're just wishing it around. Okay. Okay. You allow your taste buds to pick up on some of those flavors, right? And let the receptors okay. do their work. Okay. So, okay. you know, that's how you get that. So just let it linger. Drink, just let it Yeah, no, let it linger no. and then, then push it out. Okay. And safety note, I was always want to say you never inhale cigar smoke, nah, right? Just keep your throat closed. Yes. <laughs> Don't even do it. <laughs> you never, you never inhale cigar smoke. It will make you sick. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and not good for your lungs either. That's you know typically why cigars Unless are better you want than. Throw up. Yeah, no. I'm trying to do it on purpose. I mean, yeah, that's not that's not the life. We're yeah, not doing that. Nah. So yeah, you just you just bring it in through the mouth, hold it, and then push it out. Yeah. You can also do what's called a retrohale, and a retrohale allows your your olfactory glands and your nasal passage to pick up a lot more of those um, nuances too. So what you do is you bring the cigar uh, uh, smoke into your mouth and then you push some through your nose without letting it go down uh, the opposite direction, right? So I'll show you real quick. Mm -hmm. Easy as that. And then you get, man, that the oak, it, it's, it's got the cedar note. The cedar note, um, I taste tea, hmm. cedar, Wow. And pepper, and that pepper's got my eyes watering right now. I was like, that might just hit. I don't <laughs> yeah, like that it hit. Feeling. That's stinging in your yeah, nose. Yeah, the the darker the cigar, typically, or you know, yeah, mainly the darker cigars sometimes. That's why I yeah, like mine. It's kind of not too dark, but just yeah, right in the middle of a gold into in the middle. Right, but that's why I like the the Deadwood Leather Rose because with that one, it's it's so smooth and mellow. They aged those cigars. Some say it's flavored, but it's not. It's just how they age it that gives it those dessert-like yeah. flavors. <laughs> but it's really, yeah, it's nice and smooth. really smooth, and it's you can do that retro hell, and it won't even burn. No, that's why I like the sweet ones for me because I can handle it versus yes that oh like oh my god I'm trying to burn my hair yeah. nose yeah. hairs out no nah. right. like I gotta I need those. I got a pepper overload right now. I yeah. feel like I just took a tablespoon of pepper and like yeah. put it in my mouth because of that, that retro help is just, you know, you don't do that every single time. But to <clears> me, <throat> so with that pepper flavor, would you put this with a steak? Or, oh yeah. 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 Or this still will, chicken. No, or, no. This would be a perfect after meal, after a heavy, you know, steak just, or chili or beef chili. Or chili. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that, for that the type of meal. Too. Yeah. For sure. So I think that so this one is good and sweet, but I think when I get to that point and I'm ready, I would definitely like something like that with a hard with a nice hearty yeah. meal to top the day off or yep. the afternoon or whatever. I would really like yeah. to see you smoke a a regular non, you know. Yeah, it's a non-flavored non cigar. That way, you really taste the essence of the tobacco. Yeah. But when you're ready, when I'm ready, <laughs> <laughs> on my time only. Okay? No, nope. no peer pressure over here. Not over here. Because you know what? More for me. That's what that's what was said on the album. I know. <laughs> I know it very well. <laughs> so what do you think, babe? We uh, smoke these down to the second, third, and. Uh, Come up with anything else we'd like to talk to y'all about, and then, uh, yeah, keep pushing. Yeah, this is how it works. This is, I, that's why when we go out, I like to be there because I get to hear them when they get into their zone, and I enjoy that space. You know, I take my time. <laughs> I try to remember to puff on it and not forget. <laughs> <laughs> right. And to go out, but <laughs> listen. I can hang with the big dogs though. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So that's all that matters to me. Yeah. I mean, important thing too, like if you're, don't try to keep up with somebody that's a seasoned cigar smoker yeah. or you will get dizzy. Yeah. Like, like, yeah there, <laughs> there is natural <laughs> occurring nicotine in tobacco, right? It's yeah. not a chemical. That's what, again, there's no chemicals in cigars. It's not a cigarette. So, no, but the no. natural occurring nicotine will give you a buzz yeah. if you smoke this damn thing too fast, right? Yeah. yeah. You will get the spins. <laughs> I think worse than coffee, maybe. Yeah. Or similar to actually, because. Yeah, it's not, it's not fun. Yeah. No. So, take your time. Cigars are all about the relaxation. It's about being in a moment. It's not about rushing it. Yeah. I always say, if I don't have time to smoke a cigar, 
I'm not going to mess with it. Yeah. Because it's disrespectful to that cigar. <laughs> right? Yeah, you done wasted it. You done wasted it. Right? And these cigars easily, you know, this could be a $10 stick. This could be more in the $8 range. And that's, that's a nice chunk of change, but, right? But it also could be, uh, what's like 500 and all that. Oh, yeah. Stick, yeah. Like, I've had... I've had cigars that cost a hundred dollars a stick. Man, talking about yeah. smoking your money, blowing your money. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> I don't know, hey, everybody I'm got saying, their thing. Everybody does. <laughs> so I'm not judging. I'm just saying, man. But I get it though. If it's quality and it gives you what you need, then power to it. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's uh, smoke these down, and uh, we'll come back uh, with an update. Still hanging on. Still hanging on. All right, y'all, we back. <laughs> and she's still in there with me. She's still in there. Yeah, kind of like in the second third. She's in the final first third. So when we say third, so cigar is broken into three parts. First third, second third, final third, right? Uh, first third is normally smoother, gets a little stronger down to the second third. Then the final third should be like when it's getting full, you're going to start getting those dark roasted coffee notes yes, and darker flavors definitely, coming out. Definitely. So the sweet, the sweet part is over. Now I'm getting into the almost like a coffee, you know, mm. for me being new to coffee now. I'm like, yeah. okay, I get it. Like, oh, I get it. Uh -huh. So yeah, it's the sweet part is over. But it's it's really nice, like yeah, especially yeah. paired with my drink, old fashioned for sure. With what do we have? Oh uh, well, yes, yeah, old fashioned made with the wood for reserve. Yeah, which I think is a great base for an old fashioned because I, I like the flavor profile of the wood for reserve. Uh, it's nice smoky, oaky notes on there too, and it's just like perfect for sipping or making it to a mixed drink. Mm -hmm. The normal go to. I like my mixed drink. So. I ain't drinking some Uncle Nearest, you know. Or something else. Yeah. There we go. That's one I like. To <laughs> I do enjoy that yeah. one. Yeah. Mm hmm. Girl, and I enjoy you. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. I've enjoyed you ever since high school. Well, I mean, come Where you on. put me in the friend zone. Shame on you. I made, Shame. You, I made you family, Jay. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> this woman that made me her friend in high school. We, we went to high school together. And she made me her. No, nah, she made me her cousin. Listen. So let me tell y'all something. <laughs> The only reason why I made him my cousin is because I come from a different state. Mm. And when I came and crossed over, I was with my family. Mm. And then him, her, and his sister mm. was best friends. And they said they was cousins. Mm. So that's what I had. I didn't mm. have nothing else because I don't know. Mm. But I'm glad to say mm. you are not my cousin. Right. Not the cousin, <laughs> I already said. Not the cousin, they don't know. Not at all. We might have similar features. Our parents right. have similar features. We might, it might be a lot of heritage things, meaning nationality wise, we have some things similar, but yeah. we are a creed because we are a little bit of everything. When you, when so. you really, you know, are ingrained in your partner and your life partner, you you act alike, you probably yeah. start looking you alike. You start having habits. Yeah. Maybe I mean, like, we have similar features because yeah. when I see your mom, she has yes. similar features to certain right. people in my family. But we're all different from different places. But, For sure. you know, it is what it is. We just have the same yeah. symmetric. So yeah. Ge would that be geometric? Symmetry? <laughs> That's the there word. There we go. So, ladies, here. <laughs> This drink kicked in just a little bit, so mm -hmm. bear with me, but I'm just saying, yeah. Right. So, yeah, I don't, this is not a cigar review video, so like I said, we're just here kicking it, and, um, you know. I'm getting that. from behind the camera to yeah, just sit up here and. Allowing her to get into the video and, and really show y'all what more of my world and yeah. that my, I have a wife that does support uh, the YouTube channel, the cigar culture that I'm, that I'm in. Uh, she uh, respects it fully and I respect her. Um, everything has limits and, you know, yeah. if it gets to be too much, she tells me to back down or I, I sense myself and just, you know. But everybody yeah. needs that thing that helps them deal with life, at least when you get more wise well which come kind of comes with age you kind of 
everybody has their thing that they need to decompress. There you go. Cause, so, cause, cause yeah. life be life and yeah, and it lives with no regard to you. So yeah, don't don't let this be what heals you, right? <laughs> if any anything, whatever that you do out there, make sure that yeah. whatever that you enjoy is what you enjoy because it's just it being in a you moment, a piece right? Of happiness, or, yeah, yeah. It's not medicine. It's not a a get well thing no. at all. It's not. Yeah. It's not medicine. <laughs> you can't use it as medication. Yeah, no. Because it doesn't give you no. that, but yeah, if it's a lifestyle and yeah. something that you know that winds down, because all work and no relaxation or enjoyment is not a good life. Because if you do that too long, you might get older and your body might break down a little bit faster. So yeah. just enjoy life in the moment where we are, you know, reflect on what we've accomplished and where we come from, you know? Right. And just... Yeah. So, yeah. We're back in the saddle, y'all. Bringing this kindred leaf back to life and um, taking it wherever it, it may go. And that, I don't know. All I just know is that I like to smoke cigars and I like to share it with others and maybe um, provide information for others who are thinking about uh, the cigar uh, culture and, and maybe maybe getting into cigars because your first experience should be a good experience and you know if you, if the if you don't get brought into it right then it's something that you're not going to enjoy it and it's going to have this bad stigma on it for the rest of your life you know so um i just hope to bring that knowledge to y'all and and share what i like and hopefully you guys enjoy it you know that's it well just really make it. sure you please like subscribe Leave some comments so we can start. I'm trying to encourage more responding to comments so we can find out what more yeah. is needed out there in the community. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys like what you see today, please like and subscribe. Comment in the section below. Your thoughts, women smoking cigars. What? What y'all think about that? Huh? Hmm? What y'all think? I love it. Anywho, <laughs> we're going to smoke these cigars down and enjoy each other's company. And uh, yeah, until the next video, y'all know the motto. Be kind to one another and be kindred and leaf. We'll see you on the next video. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I guess we should have did this, huh? That's okay. That's okay. We're good. Want to yeah. plank them? For the Wait. peoples, for the people one time, be. one time. There we go. <laughs> Now we did it right. <laughs> <laughs>